In this week's deep dive, which we're going to get to right now, we're going to look at the most improved players in 2023 and uh, and round out our top five. But let's go through a couple of players that, that we think have uh, improved out of sight. And uh, Daz, I'll let you kick, it, kick us off. Yeah, I've got a, a couple. I know you're going to touch on uh, Nick Martin probably a little bit later on, but he's had a, an outstanding season. Wanted to give some kudos to Charlie Ballard at the, the Gold Coast as well. He's number two in the AFL for contested marks this year. Never had a top 10 BNF finish, but he'd be on the cusp of the All-Australian squad, I would think, at the moment. And doing some really good jobs for the uh, for the Gold Coast Suns. A um, couple of others that are probably worth a mention would be, uh, I'd, I'd say Errol Goulden at Sydney, averaging over 30 possessions, uh, sorry, averaging 27 possessions for the season, but over 30 since round eight. He's kicked 14 goals for the season, so about a goal a game. Ranked 13th for tackles in the AFL as well, Errol Goulden, and he's probably Sydney's best midfielder now with, with Warner. I wanted to mention Oscar Allen. Uh, he's kicked 41 goals in, in the competition's worst side in, in West Coast. They've been a distant last. He's ranked fifth in the Coleman, which is a super effort. Kicked a goal in every game. He kicked 28 last year, and he's on track to double that. Kicked somewhere in the 50 to 60 range, um, Oscar Allen, which I think given the, the troubles that they've had, their midfield's lacking polish. They're not getting a lot of inside 50s. He's not getting a lot of support. That's a great effort. And a lot of talk around, if you look at young players at the Saints, Mitch Owens quite rightly gets kudos. But I reckon since round seven, their best player has been Wanganeen Miller uh, off halfback. He and Sinclair have been pivotal, but Wanganeen Miller are averaging nearly 26 possessions a game since round seven. As a second-year player, still a teenager, um, I think he's been excellent for the Saints. Yeah, absolutely spot on, Daz. Especially Oscar Allen there. Mm -hmm. He's been uh, incredible in a side that's been very, very poor this year. Look, a couple more. Um, I really like the season of, of Mason Redmond, and he continues mm. to progress. And although he's not leaping uh, like, like all the other players, he's certainly averaging a, a career high in, in his disposals inside 50s. And I think he's going to have a personal best in best and fairest voting this year. And he's been a real uh, cornerstone as to why Essendon have, have improved this year out of sight. And they're looking like they're going to play uh, finals this year after last year. They, they missed out and, um, and obviously sacked their coach, Ben Rutten. Um, I'm keen to hear from you about Mason Wood. Mm. So he's, he's come into his 10th season now and he's averaging career highs in disposals, contested possessions, one percenters, which is a metric that I, I really value. Um, and will almost certainly record a top 10 finish in the BNF for the first time in his career. How have you seen his season? Yeah, he's had an injury-ravaged career. Obviously, at North, he was a sort of a medium forward or a third forward. At St Kilda, he's become a wingman uh, in that role. Started the year superbly, hurt a shoulder, but was able to push through that. Um, yeah, he's been really consistent, and it probably goes to show he's nearly 30, but probably the first time his body's let him play every week um, and now starting to relish that opportunity and, and showing how good he can be. So he's been a really important link man in a St Kilda team that's obviously struggled for consistency. When did he move to the wing for the first time? Probably the middle of last year, I would think. He's, it's his third year at the Saints. He played sort of as a half-forward early days in 21, uh, but the last two years, he's been more of a wingman, um, given they've had guys like Membry and, and those sorts of players playing as that lead-up forward so role. You'd have to say it's a bit of a masterstroke mm. from Brett Ratton, and he's really got Mason Wood going. And I think that sort of player is is a wingman that mm. well, I'd like to see more of in the AFL. I'm, I'm keen to to see other teams try that, that taller mobile. Yeah, the, the mobile mark. marking wingman who can go forward and kick goals. Um, one I really would like to touch mm. on is, and I think he's having a fantastic season, he, he's the Irishman, Connor Nash. He's in his sixth season for the Hawks and has reached a level that no one really would have anticipated. He's played all games, 17 games this season. He's averaged 24 touches. Um, and in his previous years, he'd only averaged 15. So that's a pretty significant increase. What have you liked from Connor Nash in watching the Hawks this year? Yeah, he's another of the... They've got a few taller midfielders, Hawthorne, and, and he's been really consistent. As you say, he can do defensive roles and, and offensive roles, and he's really complemented what they're trying to do. He can go forward and, and score as well. So, um, yeah, and th those tackle numbers as well. I think Hawthorne's midfield is, is hard to play against in that they're physical and that they can compete, and I think yep. that's what's seen them 
probably improve as the year's gone on to the stage now where they're competitive every time they play? Yeah, I think for a young side, having <coughs> yeah. a tackling beast, which he's leading the Hawks for tackles this year, is really, really important. Uh, the last one we're going to touch on is Nick Martin from the SNM Football Club. It's his second season at the Bombers. Uh, and given he's only in his second season, he, he obviously started off on debut. He had that five-goal, yeah. 27 disposal game. And second-year Blues, I think, is definitely a thing but he's obviously come in as a more mature player um, and he's shown absolutely no signs of slowing down does yeah his disposal average is slightly up on last year tackle numbers slightly up um, contested possessions well up um, also still hitting the scoreboard as well um, he's you know regularly getting sort of 20 25 and, and kicking a goal tackle count pretty good um, he's sort of working both ways so yeah he's been really consistent and you mentioned second year blues it, it's a real thing it does happen quite a lot with players that their second year just tapers a little bit but yeah he's uh, he's very much been the exception to that and, and been crucial to Essendon's improvement one thing that really stands out for me as well is that he, he's really in score involvement and and definitely has a crack at goal assist he's leading Essendon in goal assist with 19 for the year, and he's ranked fourth in the AFL there. So Nick Martin, another bomber who's having a fantastic season. And it's no wonder that uh, Essendon are climbing the ladder and having a great year off the back of some of their improved performances from individuals this season. 